So today we're going to be doing the question on Coach F, really easy, beginner level, finding squares. Uh, you can read the question for yourself over here, but basically what they're asking you to do is in an integer set of t cases, um, in each iteration of t, you have to find the square root of a number or integer n. So it's really easy. Um, I'm going to be using Python. Okay, so first we're going to start with import math to use the square root. Next, we want to ask the user or find the condition to find input for integer t. So write in t equals int input. Uh, we want to do int input to make sure that it's an integer that's being entered in and then prompt the user how many test cases. Whoa. Next, we want to make a, or at least I want to make a list so that it's easy to make output later. A list equals, doing a bracket like this means it's an empty, um, empty list. Next, we want to make the condition that follows the constraints that's given. So for number, now let's use a better variable name for cases and range t. Now that we have the first constraint set for how many iterations we're going to do, we can actually uh, ask the user for input n or integer n. Now we want to make a variable called result to store the value uh, after we take the integer. And we want to put first first this math.square root into n. This would actually give you the square root. However, we need everything to be integer, so we're going to convert it by doing this. And now we want to add the result to the list so that we have an easy way to control the output that we want. Now for the output, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it either like this, which will separately display it the way that they want it. Or you can do it like this outside of a for loop. This isn't, oh, whoops, I don't know what to do in there. This is the way that they would want it, but it, it's just a nice way to see all the numbers all at once. So we'll type in, what do they want? They want three as first, 10 as the second input for the actual number. Five is the second, and 10,000 as the third. Sure enough, we get the results that they want. Three, two, 100, and the last line that I added is just the whole list. So there you go, very easy. Real nice startup point for Python. Thanks for watching.